Alhamdulillah, I celebrated Eid today on Tuesday the 9th of April because a moon sighting was established in Niger and now I feel confident also to say a moon sighting has been established in Mali. And as I've said in many of my videos, global sighting, which is the Hanafi position, says that if the moon is sighted, anywhere in the Muslim world, sighted, not calculation, it's based on a sighting, if the moon is sighted and then it is verified by the authorities, be that the Qadi, the judge, or the institution that the state has put in place to verify moon sighting, based on witness testimony, once that is done, then irrespective of which Muslim country it is, those who follow global sighting must follow it. So it is not the case, once again I'll repeat one more time, I've said this many times in the past, it is not the case that we follow Saudi Arabia or this particular country or that particular country. Any Muslim country that clarifies that their announcement is based on sighting, if you follow global sighting, then you must follow it. So since this was verified, uh, that they have actually cited it and they've made the announcement. It dictated that me being a follower of the Hanafi position of global sighting, I must celebrate Eid today. I do want to just apologize for to those people who um, I wasn't able to inform earlier than I would. I would have liked to inform them earlier and I was unable to. This is because the news reached me quite late, just a little while before Sahri Suhoor time, and I had to verify it. That takes some time. It's not okay for me just to see a post somewhere and say, yes, accepted, that's it, Eid is tomorrow. It takes some time. Now, uh, before I get into answering some of the questions and queries that always arise with these kind of things, I want to say something. Any person who has a genuine question or query, feel free to ask. As for those who oppose and are against, say, the position of global sighting or not relying on astronomical calculations, etc. Um, if you oppose certain views, please do so with knowledge. If you have not studied, then do not take a strong position. You don't know. You might be contradicting a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. You may be contradicting or mocking even. Sometimes people mock um, one of the positions of the Sahaba or one of the great Imams of the four madhabs of Ahl Sunnah. It's important to recognize that. Um, it's all fine and well if you disagree with me as an individual, even if you mock a position I've taken as an individual, but when you mock something which is in the Holy Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First and foremost, Eidun Mubarakun, taqabbal Allahu minna wa minkum to all our viewers and our supporters. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless your families, bless your children, bless your relatives and bless the entire ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on this blessed day. Alhamdulillah, my brothers, uh, the announcement of Eid in many masajid in the UK um, has been made uh, since last night. And some brothers are also fasting based on their opinions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their fast and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasts and accept our Eid today. And the brothers that are fasting, may Allah accept their fasts and accept their Eid tomorrow. What we need to understand, brothers, is that there are some differences, right, that are tolerated, that we should, you know, um, compromise with. We shouldn't be so harsh, right? And those that are harsh, um, they do deserve some level of response. So now I've just seen, okay, um, I think it's a, a, a Barelvi brother, and I will play his clip just now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Imam Qasim, and the question is asked that... Ha how come some people are doing Eid tomorrow? How come some people are doing Eid on Saturday? And if we are not doing Eid tomorrow, then can we fast? Because some of the people, they are celebrating Eid and fasting on Eid day is makruwe tahrimi. Now, some people are doing Eid tomorrow. They are following Saudi Arab. And all over the world, right, everywhere, it has been uh, on observatory report that moon was not sighted nowhere else. Nowhere in the world. Let me tell you, they have already made next 30 years calendar. And you can check, it's not hidden. It's on Google everywhere uh, that they have made the next 30 years calendar. 
and how the moon sighting was one minute one minute if moon is on horizon for even for one minute when you cannot even see moon how can you see moon when sun is out it has to be i think 20 minutes or 40 minutes moon has to be out on horizon after the sunset then you can see moon and how where this ruling comes that you have to see moon you have to sight the moon and then you do eat rasulullah uh, he uh, hadith sharif is and it's in bukhari sharif is authentic hadith the sumuli rojatiha that you start your month of ramzan li roya roya is sighting ha is a pronoun for moon li rojatiha that you see moon then you start your moon, the month of ramzan wa aftiru and if you do iftar iftar you stop fasting li rojatiha and then you stop stop fasting by sighting the moon. If you have not sighted the moon, you cannot uh, start your month of Ramadan. If you have not sighted the moon, you cannot finish your month of Ramadan. Of course, it depending on 29 days or 30 days. So those people who are not going to, who are following the Sunnah of Rasulullah, not Saudi Arab. Those who are following Saudi Arab today, this time, because even Saudi Arab, uh, Jeddah University, they have announced that there was no sighting all of the Saudi Arab. Otherwise, all those countries which are around Saudi Arab, they have never sighted moon. They announced that they are going to do Eid on such a day. So how come they have uh, announced that they are going to do Eid on Friday? Well, anyway, regardless of that, either they are going to or they are not. We are following Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You can follow Saudi Arab or you follow the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the authentic Hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So those who are following the true Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they must fast on Friday, which is tomorrow. They have to fast on Friday. Either they are doing Eid because the people are doing Eid, they are following Saudi Arabia. They are not following the real Sunnah. They are not following the uh, moon sighting of their own horizon of their own uh, country, which we're supposed to be doing. It's coming from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So those who are not celebrating Eid tomorrow, they have to fast because actually they are right and they have to fast. Those who are not doing it, they are missing out one fast. And if you're going to fast tomorrow, it's not going to be haram. So brothers, you've just watched this clip. Right. I just want to give some quick, you know, uh, points um, and food for thought and points for this brother and everyone to reflect on. First and foremost, this brother has made a claim, right? He's made a claim that no one in the world has sighted the moon besides Saudi Arabia. Now, just remember, I am not some representative of Saudi Arabia, right? Whether I follow the Saudi Arabian, um, you know, uh, moon sighting, um, announcement or not that's a separate issue right what does my local masjid do or where do I pray that's a separate issue may Allah like I've mentioned may Allah accept everyone's the thing here is that we have to be honest he said no one in the world has sighted the moon besides Saudi Arabia right this is a lie my brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan okay ruled by the Taliban who in fiqh are Hanafi. They have qudat, they have jurists, okay? They have judges, they have experts in fiqh, they have mashaykh and hadith experts, they have tafsir experts, they have fiqh experts there. They have a whole judicial system there, right? They have also made very clear that they sighted the moon in Afghanistan and based on this sighting, Eid is also today. Like I've said, I'm not saying those who are doing it tomorrow is, are, are wrong, but I'm saying that we can't lie. We can't say this is only Saudi. Now look, yes, there are music concerts happening in Saudi Arabia. There are many wrongs that are taking place and increasing. Okay, with that, you know, with with time passing and with us coming drawing closer to Qiyamah, we are seeing many wrong things in Saudi Arabia. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them guidance. We should speak against it. Fine. We are for this and we also do. But what we can't do is leave being fair. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, I'dilu, I'dilu, huwa aqrabu taqwa I'dilu, huwa aqrabu taqwa We have to be fair. Okay? Fairness is closest to taqwa and piety. So, Afghanistan. And other places in the world have also done Eid today based on sightings, like places in America, places in Canada, South America, okay, Guyana, right? So let's not be um, so kind of 
uh, uh, um, sectarian that just because we believe they are Wahhabi or just because we believe that, you know, um, th their methodology is wrong in fiqh issues or creed issues, certain creed issues, that we start leaving being fair and we spread wrong information. So this is the first thing. A Hanafi country ruled by Hanafi judges, ruled by ulama, ruled by fiqh experts has made very clear that Eid Moon has been cited last night, Afghanistan, and they have done Eid today. So this brother is lying, firstly. Secondly, he's recited the hadith, Sumu li ru'yatihi wa aftiru li ru'yatihi. So the first part, Sumu li ru'yatihi, right? He's made a reference to Sahil Bukhari, right? And he's pronounced it, Sumu li ru'yatiha. So I'd like to ask this brother a question, right? Where has he got this wording from Sumu li ru'yatiha? Because he is a different pronoun, right? Masculine, and ha is feminine pronoun. So where has he got this from? I want to hear the reference because I've not heard this, but it could just be my ignorance. I've not heard this version of the hadith. But Sumu li ru'yatihi is the hadith we've all heard, we've all seen, we've all studied. Where is Sumu li ru'yatiha? So this is a second question to this brother, if anyone can help him. And I think this brother is from the Brelvi school. This is why he's so staunch. Although there are some even from the uh, Hanafi Ahlu Sunnah, uh, the Oband as well, who have their opinions. Fine, like I said, opinions are not an issue. Is The issue is we should not go so staunch that we leave being fair and just. Second thing. So the first thing was he lied that Saudi is the only one who's claimed to, uh, um, you know, uh, have the moon sighting last night. Wrong, right? Many places and a Hanafi country has also cited the moon and done Eid today, Afghanistan. The Hadith, I've asked where this is um, in the version, he's recited it. The third thing I'd like to give for my Barelvi brothers, um, some food for thought is from your senior sheikh sheikh ahmad rida khan al barelwi okay i'll put it on the screen as well from fatawa ridawiya where he says that the relied upon position within the hanafi school is the correct position and relied upon position is that wherever the moon is sighted and reaches us the news of this uh, sighting right reaches us with authenticity not through rumors or hearsay you know endorsed um then um you know you, you must make the eid you must make um announcement and also following the uh, follow the sighting why is because rasulullah sallallahu has said fast right fast with sighting the moon and also stop fasting in other words make eid wa aftiru li ru'yatihi and stop fasting, make Eid by sighting the moon. So when this moon has been sighted, you've acted upon the hadith very clearly. Rasulullah sallallahu has not said every single area, city, you know, nation state, because that wasn't around in those days anyway, right? And this thing of the Shafi'i school, remember, this is the dominant position within the, the, the world of Ahlul Sunnah, the Hanbali school, the Maliki school, the Hanafi school, just the Shafi'i school, have this opinion that each region have their own ru'ya. This is why you find the chapter, okay, Bab li kulli ahli baladin ru'yatuhum. But this is not the Shafi'i position. For every city is their own ru'ya and their own moon sighting. This is not the position, the dominant position within the Ummah and the position within the Hanafi school is this. And inshallah, there'll be more to follow on this as well. I'll put this scan of Ahmad Rida Khan Barelvi, a food for thought for our Barelvi brothers, that you've got an issue with Saudi, no problem. But when Afghanistan has announced, why are you not making Eid? According to Ahmad Rida Khan's fatwa, you should and must make Eid. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all today, tomorrow, and forever, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.